ML Sports Take brought to you by Jam and Beats and Rosie's Corner. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Every single thing that needs to be done at the exact moment, Kansas City Chiefs, right? Championship pedigree. Sorry, Swan. I had to say it. It just doesn't matter. Remember when this team was 9-6? and six? <sighs> Feels like 100 years ago. Couple of wins. They win a home game against the Dolphins. They beat the Bills on the road. Ravens on the road. Oh, no. Road game. Mahomes. Uh, how'd that work out? Cancel that out. Check that box. Super Bowl. Oh, it's the Niners time. Nope. No, it isn't. How about a cast of characters not named Travis Kelsey? Really? McCole Hardman, he catches the game-winning touchdown. He started the freaking year with the New York Jets. That is so New England Patriots, it isn't even funny, right? Valdis Scantling, Rice, I mean, a host of characters that are basically mid-level players. Doesn't matter. Mahomes, Reed, Brett Veach. Oh, this is going to be the second year without, you know, without Tyreek Hill. Finally, these things come to hunt. Nope. Didn't matter. Oh, Eric Bieniemy's good. Nope. Didn't matter, right? Like all the challenges, all the things that people say. Nope. What championship teams do, what dynasties do, is they change the flavor of the ice cream year to year, and there's different versions of it. This year, it wasn't 35-31 Chiefs. They went in the 20s. They went in the teens. Mahomes is still elite with a big-time defense. Defense, Spagnolo, they, they beat you in different ways. They don't make mistakes late. And all you have to do, doesn't matter if you fumble with Pacheco, the drops, Valdez Scantling running backwards, every penalty under the sun, Travis Kelsey bumping Andy Reid, every stupid thing that happened, anything you could, how about Sneed slapping IU can get in a penalty? It doesn't matter what happens. Nine and six a long time ago, losing B enemy, losing Hill, all these different things. You know what matters? The last possession, if number 15 has the football, that's what matters. And then it was a clinic, 13 plays, what, over 70 yards, over seven minutes, to the right, to the left, short, long, Mahomes making it happen to get himself in third and fourth and one, you know, third and fourth and short situations. How many times do we see Lamar and Jalen Hurts and Herbert and especially Josh Allen, third and seven, third and nine, third and 11, third, most of the times even Josh Allen can get his team out of that. But when you play the numbers, how many times really can you? You can't do it every single time. Mahomes doesn't have to do it every single time because he and his teammates get you into those short yarded situations more often than not when it matters. And then let's just throw McCall Hardman in there and throw this complete wild set that the Niners have no idea what's coming at them with three seconds to go in the first overtime. Oh, look at that. There's Hardman wide open. The guy who started the season with the Jets. Boom. And how about the drafting of Brett Feach? Wow. George Karloftis, the rookie last year, he made more of an impact this year. Great game in the Super Bowl, half a sack. I think he had five tackles and two solo. Pacheco, great again, even though he had the early fumble. All these draft picks, all these free agent signings. How about Justin Reed, drafted by the Texans, finishes out the contract, signed by the Chiefs. Swiss Army knife and a safety. Ridiculous. All over the quarterback all night long. All the adjustments, unbelievable, right? It doesn't matter if you play cover zero, cover two, cover three, if you disguise, if you have a spy on Purdy, if you don't, the line of scrimmage. Chris Jones, great, huge plays late in games against Josh Allen. He did it again against Brock Purdy. All the plays at the defensive line by Armstead and Bosa, all these guys in the beginning of the, those disappeared. Why? Chiefs offensive line, adjusting, great guard play. Teamwork, cohesion, making play after play after play after play to get to the point where the Niners didn't put him away early. The coaching was terrible. They didn't run the ball enough. Where were the bubble screens to Christian McCaffrey? They didn't help Brock Purdy out enough. I thought the kid played fine. And then all of the things I talk about, the final thing you want after you jump over all those hurdles right before the finish line, you hand the baton to number 15 and he does it again. They're champs for a reason. ML Sports Take, brought to you by Welch & Company Jewelers and Jammin' Beats.